Have you ever worried that someone might be reading your private messages without your knowledge? Whether it's a nosy roommate, a suspicious partner, or even a sophisticated hacker, your personal conversations could be more exposed than you think. Hi everyone, Ron from Certo here. At Certo, we've been helping people protect their phones for over 10 years. And today, we're tackling a question we get asked all the time. How can I stop someone from reading my private messages? So in this video, we'll reveal seven sneaky ways people can spy on your messages. From the obvious methods anyone could use to the sophisticated techniques that might surprise you. Most importantly though, we'll show you exactly how to stop each one. And stick with me to the end because you might be surprised just how many ways your messages could be exposed. All right, let's start with the most obvious method. Someone simply looking over your shoulder when you're messaging or checking notifications. This old school technique doesn't require any technical skill, but can be surprisingly intrusive. Many people check their phones in public places, making it easy for curious onlookers to see what you're typing or reading. And even worse, when your phone is locked, notification previews could still reveal the content of your messages to anyone who glances at your screen. So there are two simple but effective ways to prevent this. First, consider using a privacy screen protector. These special screen protectors make your display visible only when looking directly at it. Anyone viewing from an angle will just see a dark screen. Second, disable message previews on your lock screen. This prevents the content from your messages from being displayed when your phone is locked. So on iPhone, go to Settings, Notifications, Show Previews, and select When Unlocked or Never. Now on Android, go to Settings, Notifications, Lock Screen Notifications, and select Hide Content. These simple changes can keep your messages private from casual snoopers. The next method is surprisingly common. Someone who knows your phone's unlock code can simply wait until you're not around, pick up your phone, and read through your messages at their leisure. This could be a family member, a roommate, coworker, even a partner who's secretly checking your conversations. Now, to protect against this, start by setting a strong pin or passcode that only you know. And avoid obvious combinations like birthdays or simple patterns. Now, for an extra layer of protection, consider using an anti-intruder app. You see, these clever apps can sound an alarm if anyone tries to use your phone without your permission, alerting you to potential snooping. Certo Anti-Spy for Android is a great example of an app that can help catch people trying to access your phone. And finally, many messaging apps now let you set a separate pin just for that app. This means that even if someone knows your phone's unlock code, they'll need a second pin to access your messages. All right, now let's move on to something a bit more technical. Did you know your text messages could be automatically forwarding to another device without you realizing it? Both iPhone and Android allow you to sync your default messaging app across multiple devices logged into the same Apple or Google account. This means someone could be reading all your text messages on their computer or tablet if they have access to your account. To check and disable this on iPhone, open Settings, then tap Apps, Messages, then Text Message Forwarding. Here you'll see all devices that are receiving copies of your text messages. Toggle off any device you don't recognize or don't want receiving your messages. For Android users, open the Google Messages app. Tap the three dots at the top right, select Device Pairing, and you'll see any devices currently receiving your messages. Tap Unpair for any devices you don't want to have access to your messages anymore. Also, popular third-party messaging apps like WhatsApp, Signal, and Telegram include a Link Devices feature which allows you to access your messages from a browser or desktop app. Certainly while convenient, this feature can be exploited by someone who gains brief access to your phone. All they need is a minute with your unlocked phone to scan a QR code, and then they can secretly read all your messages from their computer. So to protect yourself, 
Regularly check for linked devices in your messaging apps and remove any you don't recognize. In WhatsApp or Signal, go to Settings, Link Devices to see all currently connected devices. And in Telegram, go to Settings, Devices. And if you see any devices you don't recognize, tap on them and select Log Out or Remove to immediately disconnect them. Many people don't realize that their messages might be automatically backing up to cloud services like iCloud or Google Drive. If someone has access to your cloud account, whether it's because they know your password or because they're using a device connected to the same account, they could potentially access all your backed up messages. Okay, so to stop this, first, secure your cloud accounts by changing the password and enabling two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security that makes unauthorized access much more difficult. And for extra privacy, you can also disable message syncing to the cloud altogether. On iPhone, go to Settings, Your Name, iCloud, and toggle Messages. On Android, open the Settings app, tap Google, and then select Manage Backup to change your backup preferences. This ensures your messages stay only on your device and can't be accessed through cloud services. Most phones can share notifications and messages with connected Bluetooth devices like smartwatches, car infotainment systems, or laptops. If someone pairs their device with your phone, or if you've previously paired with their device, they might be receiving copies of your messages without you realizing it. So to stop this, review your paired Bluetooth devices regularly and remove any you don't recognize or you no longer use. On iPhone, go to Settings, then Bluetooth to see paired devices. And on Android, go to Settings, then Connected Devices. Pay close attention to devices that have permission to access notifications or text messages. Now, the most invasive method is also, unfortunately, more common than people realize. Spyware apps can be secretly installed on your phone to monitor everything you do, including reading all your messages across any app. These apps are often marketed as parental control or employee monitoring tools, but have been known to be misused by controlling partners or cyber stalkers. Once installed, they run in the background and are designed to stay hidden while forwarding your messages and other data to the person who installed the app. Because spyware is designed to hide itself, the best way to detect and remove it is with a specialized security app like Certo. Certo's apps for iPhone and Android can scan your device for spyware and other security threats, telling you if your phone is being monitored. If Certo detects any spyware, removing it is as simple as tapping a button. The app takes care of everything for you, giving you instant peace of mind that your messages and private data are secure again. I went ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. So there you have it, seven sneaky ways someone might be monitoring your text messages. Now let's quickly recap the steps you can take to keep your messages private. Use a privacy screen protector to prevent visual snooping from people nearby. Set a secure passcode on your phone and consider using app-specific pins for messaging apps. Disable lock screen message previews to keep message contents hidden when your phone is locked. Ensure message forwarding is turned off to stop sharing messages with any unauthorized devices. Regularly check WhatsApp, Signal, and other messaging apps for linked devices. Change passwords for your cloud account, enable two-factor authentication, and consider disabling message syncing. Review your Bluetooth devices and unpair anything you don't recognize. And lastly, make sure you run regular spyware scans with an app like Certo to detect and remove any hidden monitoring apps. Thank you so much for watching. Because you see, by following the steps we've covered today, you can ensure your personal messages stay private, exactly as they should be. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more smartphone security tips. Stay secure and we'll see you in the next video.